The population of a community is known to increase at a rate proportional to the number of people present at time t. The initial population p0 has doubled in five years. Suppose it is known that the population of the community is 10,000 after three years. What was the initial population p0? What will be the population in 10 years? How fast is the population growing at t equals 10? So what we'll do is we'll let p, which is a function of t, be equal to the population at time t. And the questions which we wish to answer can be more easily answered if we have a function for p. Well, we are given a relationship involving the rate of increase in p. We're told that the rate of increase, which we'll call dp dt, is proportional to the number of people present at time t. So that will be equal to some constant of proportionality k times p. So this is a differential equation, and we can solve this possibly by separation of variables. So what we'll do is we'll first multiply both sides by dt. That will give us dp equals kp dt. And then we'll divide both sides by p, giving us 1 over p dp equals k dt. And now we can integrate both sides. The integral of 1 over p with respect to p will be the natural logarithm of the absolute value of p. And the integral of k with respect to t will be kt plus c. Well, this logarithm is a base e logarithm. So, and then also this absolute value of p will be the same as p because p will not be zero or negative. So we'll simply write this as p equals e to the kt plus c. So we have our function p of t, and that will be the same as e to the c times e to the kt. And we can note that the initial population is p naught. So that means p of zero is equal to p naught. And so what will happen is that p naught will be equal to e to the c times e to the zero, and e to the zero is one, telling us that e to the c will be equal to p naught. So we can rewrite our function as p of t equal to p naught times e to the kt. But we need to find this constant of proportionality k, and we're told that the population doubled in five years, that meaning when t is equal to 5, p is equal to 2 times p naught. So we know that p of 5 is equal to 2 times p naught, so we'll get the equation 2 p naught equals p naught times e to the 5k, because t is 5. And we'll divide both sides by p naught, since p naught is not 0, and we'll get e to the 5k equal to two. Then we can simply take the natural logarithm of both sides, and we'll get 5k equals the natural logarithm of two, meaning that k will be the natural logarithm of two over five, telling us that our function is going to become p of t equal to p naught times e to the natural logarithm of two over five times t. So we have this function p of t as the function that describes the population at time t, but we still need to find p naught. We wish to know the initial population, so we need to find p naught. Well, we're told that the population is 10,000 after three years. That means that p of three is equal to 10,000. So that tells us when t is equal to three, p is equal to 10,000. So we'll plug those into our equation, giving us 10,000 equals p naught times e to the natural logarithm of two over five times three. And so p naught, that's going to be equal to 10,000 divided by e to the, well, we'll have three times the natural logarithm of two over five. When we evaluate, we'll find that p naught, that's going to be 
6.5. So our function p of t is now going to be 6,597.5 times e to the natural logarithm of 2 over 5 times t. So we've found the initial population, and of course, this would have to be rounded down to 6,597 because we can't have half a person, but we'll keep the more precise version in our function. So we next need to know the population in 10 years. So to find the population in 10 years, we'll simply find P of 10. So that will give us 6,597.5 times E to the natural logarithm of two over five times 10. And when we evaluate that, we'll wind up with 26,390. So the population after 10 years will be 26,390. And lastly, we want to know the, how fast is the population growing at t equals 10. So how fast is the population growing at t equals 10 years? So in this case, we're going to have to find the derivative at 10. So we'll have to find p prime of 10. Well, we should note that we'll first need to find p prime of t. Well, that will simply be, we'll take, here we have p of t over here. We'll take the derivative of the natural logarithm of two over five times t, which will be the natural logarithm of two over five times the function 6,597.5 times e to the natural logarithm of two over five times t. So to find p prime of 10, we'll simply plug 10 into this derivative. We'll get the natural logarithm of two over five times 6,597.5 times e to the natural logarithm of two over five times 10. And when we evaluate that, we'll get approximately 3,658. And this will, of course, be people per year because t is the number of years. So in this problem, we first came up with a differential equation that we solved by separation of variables. And using the given conditions, we we're able to get the exact function that we needed. And using that function, we we're able to evaluate and get the population after 10 years. And we were also able to get the rate of growth of the population at 10 years.